How about that? How about that? Here we are. Wednesday. Yes, it, it is, is Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes, it is. And here we are. Welcome. Hey, welcome. I'm Gary. I'm Lisa. Thanks for coming. Our top story today is we have the numbers for the first quarter of 2021. That's right, we have Q1 of 2020 to Q1 of 2021 ready for you. And as you can imagine, prices have gone up and days of market have gone way down. <laughs> yeah, I don't think, uh, you know, based on what our overview of the numbers were, I didn't see any big surprises there, did you, Lise? Well, not based on how it's been trending. Um, a couple things that when the, the sold prices switched over 100%, uh, was in third quarter of 2020, where we have now have the average sold price to the list price is over 100%. So things are closing o uh, over a asking. And uh, we've just heard some wild stories about that, as you can imagine. Well, I don't think a lot of people really fully understand what's going on in the market. It's not only in our market, in markets here in California, out of our 58 counties, but it's also Every small town, every city, every big city across the U.S. is experiencing the same phenomenon with the numbers on real estate. Mm -hmm. And we've had clients buying properties, of course, all over the country, and they're running into the same problems of multiple offers and things going over at it, over asking in lots of markets. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, and I don't care where you're talking about. It is everywhere across the board, I mean, whether it's San Jose, Boise, Idaho, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, I mean, you name the city, Nashville, Tennessee, Knoxville, Tennessee, any, anywhere, and they're having multiple offers, and it is very seriously a seller's market. Yes, if you're ever thinking about selling a property, now's the time. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking there to see, yeah, we're live, huh? Yeah, so to see you, I talked to our people. Hi, Destiny, just saying hi, how are you? So we have our chart here, you can get me my chart. Yes, let's Here's chart it Here's our numbers okay, so, of Q1. Hang on there, this doesn't okay. always work out exactly right. So, you can see here that <laughs> this, I've got our numbers going on here, if you can see them. So, new listings is down about 6.5% which I can tell you the market feels like it's down a lot more than that. This is total number of listings in Ventura County from Q1 of 2020 to Q1 of 2021. It feels like it's down about 60%. Right. Yeah, we there we go. And then uh, we've got our average sold price here is up 14.5% from about 754 to 864. Now this is the whole county, quarter. The whole, the whole quarter. The whole quarter and the whole county. That's so right. even though when you get more specific in the county, it, the numbers do seem to jump out a lot more. There's a lot more movement, let's say in Ventura, Oxnard area, that's everything below the grade, versus when you get above the grade, there's less movement on price. Yeah. Did you say? Yep. Yep, yep, okay, mm -hmm. just checking. Yep, and the number of listings too, so it's just, I, but I, I didn't do all the, sit, the cities here, there's not room on my board. Um, average days on market, down 44 percent to 34 days median days 23 so you can see it's getting getting real tight here there's a lot of people now that normally wouldn't offer all cash on a property that are whether they're borrowing it from relatives or they're selling their home first and moving in with relatives and then coming in with all cash right so then i did do a few of the cities here so you can see the average sold price um, from first quarter last year to this year so in oxnard 561 to 610, up 8.73%. Ventura, 732 to 873,000, up 19.21%. Uh, Camarillo, 675 to 785, up 16%. And then Ojai, 1,025,000 to 1,388, up 35%. So that uh, there's some expensive homes that have closed. It's tend to skew that a little bit when they get over you know, 10 million, it does skew the average a bit, but um, those are the numbers. But a new statistic I threw in today, just to give you an idea, in the orange over here, I put the total number of active properties available in each of these four cities. And so in Oxnard, there's 68 properties, Ventura 60, Camarillo 52, and Ojai 33. Now that includes single family homes and condos and town 
houses, and that's it on inventory. Um, here in Ventura, in a balanced market, is about 150 properties for sale, and we're down to, whatever I said that was, 60 or so. So. Yeah, and as the numbers kind of stretch out a little bit, remember we were in lockdown starting March 20th of 2020. So we were the first state to go in complete lockdown. That's California leading the way. And <laughs> leading the way, state that we're not out yet <laughs> either. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we're the leaders. And when we look back, let's take January's number. If we took the January of 2020 and we looked at January of 2021, the spread there was about 22% in sales price. That was huge. So as we get in the quarters and we start stretching it out a little bit, what was it, about 19? Mm -hmm. So it's right up there, but it does soften it ever so slightly. Yeah, you know, 93.3% of people that were just surveyed said that uh, owning a home is a better investment than owning stocks. Uh, and do you know what the average net worth is of a home owner versus a renter? Anybody know? What's your guess? I would think it's major. It's major. It's 40 times. So a homeowner has 40 times the net worth of a, re of a renter. Uh, I saw another article that says some people that are able to are saving their stimulus money to go into their down payment kitty. So they are going to use their um, stimulus money to get ready to buy a property. Yeah, no, we're bad, not bad mouthing stocks at all. I mean, they definitely deserve a space in everybody's portfolio. But I mean, you know, there's only so many Teslas and only so many when you put a thousand dollars in, it's going to be worth, you know, 40,000. We all want that stock. If you got that stock, you know, DM us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, to get started, to get things rolling, real estate's got to be a part of it. It just does. And, it, and no matter where you're at on the spectrum, you need to own real estate. That's right. So if you know anyone thinking about selling a property, or you've inherited a property, or there's some situation you want to talk to us about, we'd love to talk to you about it. You know, you can always DM us, text us, email us. We will answer to Carrier Pigeon, however you'd like to communicate. And you can always find us. GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. Okay, that's a wrap.